so my name is Brady Gaster and I'm going to do a quick video uh, on how to use the Azure tools for Visual Studio Code which we just put out and I'm going to do this on a Mac uh, which is a new thing for me first thing I'll do is I'll use the Yeoman generator and I'll do Yo ASP.NET this will just scaffold a pretty basic empty web application I'm just going to go for hello world here uh, to kind of concentrate on what the tooling can do to make your life a little bit easier uh, you already know how powerful the framework is, I'm sure. Uh, it's awesome to be able to do this on a Mac uh, using the same tools you could use on a Linux box or on your Windows PC. So I've gone ahead and I've scaffolded up an empty web application. And we'll go ahead and do a .NET restore to install all my NuGet packages and everything that I'm going to need. And do a quick clear. And now that that's done, I'm going to switch over to code. And I'm going to... Uh, initiate a new folder here open the folder where my code stored <clears throat> and now I'm going to do a new thing called Azure login see it's a new series of commands what it does is it copies a code to my desktop and bounces me over to the URL where I can just paste in the code and log in and you'll see I just paste it in log in and then give the account access to one of my Azure subscriptions and I'll go back over to VS code and you'll see that it knows that I'm logged in and pretty much ready to go here. So what I want to do is create a new web app. So I'll do the advanced way and I'll go ahead and give it a name and also be able to give it a resource group and a hosting plan name that I can call my own. There's also a simple mode where you just give it the site name and make some assumptions about the other components. It's going to reach out and it's going to create a resource group, a hosting plan or a server farm and put your site in it. Now that it's all ready, you can do Azure Browse. You can uh, do a quick little filtration on all of your resources in your subscription. Find you one you want, and it'll bounce you right over to the portal. Once you are in the portal, you can quickly click on the uh, Deployment Options tab here. What we want to do is enable Git Publishing. So I've got a local Git repository, and I'll flip back over to VS Code after I've copied the Git repository URL. I want to initialize my Git repository right here on my local drive. And then I'm going to open up the integrated command window inside of VS Code. And I'm going to say Git Remote Add Azure, and then paste in the URL for my own site. Clear my screen there and then get rid of my terminal window. And now I can commit everything up and quickly use the built in Git tools in VS Code to do a publish. It's going to say, Do you want to publish this to uh, uh, Azure Master? Yes, we do. I'll go ahead and authenticate real quick to my Git repository running up in Azure App Service. And once I have been able to do that, see that it's uh, publishing up. You see that the deployment has completed. If I go back over here to Overview, click on the link in the browser, it will bounce me right over to where the site is running and a new tab. There we go. So there's the Hello World in a new tab. What I want to do is do a customization of my code since I'm running up in Azure. So I'm going to go over to Startup CS and change the message here. I'm just going to say hello from Azure. Do a quick save. Again, flip over to my Git tools inside of VS Code and do a uh, commit. And it's going to go right up to the website that I did create from within VS Code just a moment before. I'll push up to it. And then I'll flip back over to portal here and see what the deployment status looks like. Looks like that second deployment's going. And yeah, it's ready now. Go ahead and click on site again and just refresh it and you should see an updated message. So that's real quickly how you can use Git along with the new uh, fancy uh, built-in Azure tools for VS Code, which you can get to directly in the uh, VS Code Azure Tools uh, marketplace. So there you go. Azure tools for VS Code are out in the uh, Visual Studio Marketplace. So go out and download it. And if you find any issues, submit them in GitHub. If you have any ideas, please submit those as issues. And if you want, submit a pull request because it's an open source extension. And we'd love to get your feedback or contributions. Thanks a lot. We hope you enjoy it. Take care. Bye.